Hi guys, how are you? Well, I'm getting there with my video, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to parallel these inverters. So as you can see here, I've connected all my wires, so I've got my two sets of um, parallel cables all hooked up, okay? Then I got um, my solar all hooked up. And then my, there's my bus bar. Okay, so what we're going to do is now, for starters, you shouldn't have any AC connected to these. Okay, that's one thing you shouldn't have. So what I what I you, know, you have to see, I've got no AC on here, so it'll be perfect. So what you got to do is you go first, turn on your DC breaker. Okay, now this is going my main going to be my first unit, so I'll turn my first unit on. And you see there, it's starting up. So, once it's all fully started, I'm going to show you what, to, what we're going to do. Okay, she's ready. So, what I'm going to do is, this is the enter button. I'm going to press and hold the enter button. Then, I go scroll up to go to... 28. So as you can see there, we're in SIG mode, which means single mode. So now what we gotta do is before we continue into this, we have to go down here, switch the power switch off, press enter, and then just press down to power and press enter. So now that is saved. So now I turn my unit back on. Wait for it. I'll just press escape now. And now, as you can see there, we're in HS mode. Well, this one may, this is meant to go in HS or save, doesn't matter. Um, this one has decided to go in HS mode, which is okay. So now I've done that one, I've got to turn this off. So off this one goes. Wait for it to shut down. These take a little bit to deplete the capacitors inside, so it and, and also it gives you time to play around in the settings and stuff like that. Okay, so anyway, that's still shutting down, but by the time this one comes back on this one comes online, it'll be good. So I do the same thing. Turn the power on. Excuse me while I move something. Okay. That one's ready. So now I do the same thing. Press and hold the enter button. Go up to 28. Oh, I went right past it. Which is these in single mode. Turn the inverter off. Press enter. And go to power mode. Enter. Turn my inverter back on. And I'll just go to escape. So that's in HS as well. So now that's ready. So I might turn this inverter off. It should all shut down. <sighs> These inverters are very nice. Um, the fact that you can parallel them, you can have up to four units all together. So virtually, if I um, if I had three or four more units, I'd just repeat the process down the line. Okay, so let's turn this on. Turn this one on. That one's kicking up. Now I'll turn this one on. So 
as you can see. HS. SL. So now, they are ready to work as a team. HS is your master. SL is your slave. There you go, guys. That is how you parallel these units. Quick, simple, and easy. You guys take care. See ya.